Let's fucking go, baby. Mine pro. I didn't change my socks, but it's all good. Fuck it. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of The Burn Down. Today's episode, as you can see from what we're holding in our hand, it's Oktoberfest, baby. Mine pro. Shit. So Justin's going to break down everything about Oktoberfest since he is German. And we're just going to talk cigars, beers. Oktoberfest, and we got some October festivities going on too. So stay tuned because it's the burn down. The burn down. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the burn down. Yeah. I'm Justin. I'm Eric. And today it is. Oktoberfest! Oktoberfest! So, it's Oktoberfest time. Yeah. And unfortunately, Oktoberfest didn't happen this year due to COVID. But it's happening right now in the burn down. <laughs> That's for damn sure. That's for damn sure. So, That's we got some German beers, some German cigars. Well, not German cigars, but Oktoberfest cigars. Themed cigars, Themed yes. cigars. And we're going to be talking about uh, a couple things about Oktoberfest. Um, some of... The memories we have of Oktoberfest that I have, uh, memories that we might have of Oktoberfest parties. You're going to bless everyone and myself with the knowledge of Oktoberfest because all I know about it is that you just drink beer and just have a good time. So you are the German, so you know best of what Oktoberfest is. Well, you pretty much just summed it up, so we can just end this episode right here. Peace. <laughs> There's a giant ass mosquito in this mother effing room. Look at that. You want to get him? I'm about to go get that mug. Go get that mug. Yo, get that. Get his ass. Get his ass. Let's fucking go. Let's go. That was fuck. That was a little. Yeah. Ah. That was nice. One one shot, one, one shot. Kill. What's one, the deal? One shot, one to baby. Let's go. So, all That's right. Nice. Um, Eric, why don't you tell them about the smokes that we got because that's usually how we do the episode we talk about the smokes and we talk about the drinks and then we delve into the episode all right let me get a little situated real quick so i hype about that mosquito bro <laughs> that was sick <laughs> anyway again so uh this is the brick house maduro He's a brick house uh, J.C. Newman Cigars, which I believe is is the oldest cigar company or one of the oldest cigar companies. Is it really? I'm pretty sure that's... Wow. Fun one fact of, one for of you. The fun facts about them. Um, this is Brickhouse Maduro. So the thing with this is that uh, they're doing a little promotion with Brickhouse, where they're preferably, or their Brickhouse Cigars, is that uh, for the whole month of October, for the participating uh, tobacconists and retailers, if you purchase seven or more Brickhouses of any variety... You get a 2020 Bricktoberfest Stein. Stein. Beer Steins. Beer Stein. So you purchase seven of these. You make sure you send a, re- and you save a receipt and you send over to them and you let them know that you, you're participating in it. You get, another, you get a mother effing Stein, which is sick. I mean, if you guys don't know what a beer Steins. Oh, my. Well, I ooh, make sure that hair is good. I oh feel. My. I feel. You ever feel one that just kind of goes like boop, 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 boop. Um, If you don't know what beer Stein is, this is a beer Stein. Um, if you don't know what beer Stein is, then. Uh, Google it. Google it. Or just wait till the episode because... Um, but I'm pretty sure everybody knows what Beerstein is. Yeah. It's a big ceramic, mostly ceramic. This one's glass. So mug. the one you'll get from, uh, uh, you know, Brickhouse or J.C. Newman, it's just going to be a giant glass stein. It's going to be engraved and it's going to say uh, Bricktoberfest 2020. I got one. Unfortunately, I didn't bring it. I wish I did. And uh, it's actually pretty cool. It makes a good piece. Your heck? boy's sister just... Found my motherfucking German hat, baby. Damn, what a good sissy. Woo! My man's got the German hat. That was live action. Live action, baby. Put that put that mug on, cuz. Let's go. Damn. Let's go. Yeah. Coming in clutch. That was sick. Oh my god. That was live action through the window. Woo. So I've been looking for this hat. This is my little German um hat that I bought. At the Oktoberfest in Munich, Germany. That's sick. Um, and I was looking for it because I knew we were doing this episode. I couldn't fucking find it. I was pissed. Pissed. I was pissed. So I don't know where the hell she found it, but she just comes. She knocks on the door. And I'm like, what the fuck? Who's she knocking on the door? We're, we're, we're filming here. What are you doing? Yeah. And sure as shit, she holds up the hat. I'm like, motherfucker. She found a damn hat. Yo, give me that. So she can't open the door because the camera's in front of us. Yeah. So she comes around and throws it through the window, coming in clutch. 
with your boy's German hat. That was fresh. Let's that was go. I was like, what the hell is that noise over there coming through? And then wham, right through the window. Let's fucking go. So, yeah. So, uh, I mean, really quick about the Brick House Maduro. It's just a Nicaraguan Puro, as far as I know. Ooh, so, you know your boy likes Nicaraguan Puro. I Puros. believe the rapper is a Brazilian Maduro uh, rapper. And then Nicaraguan binder and long tobacco fillers. So, you got the German hat on. We got the strong German beer. We got the strong Oktoberfest themed cigar. What kind of beer are we drinking? So, um, I found in the back of the fridge. Fag. Uh, Perlenbacher Imperial. Redenbacher? Like the popcorn? Perlenbacher. Oh, okay. So, Perlenbacher is a German um, beer company. Okay. Brewery. Um, this is a premium lager beer imported from Germany. Imperial, 7.9%. God damn. That boy a little bit strong. I'm going to have to drink a little water with it. Um, and then the other beer that we have, which is not quite German, um, because your boy, I thought I had more German beer in the fridge, but it turns out we ran out. Um, we're drinking uh, Stella Artois. Well, Belgium. Belgium is in Germany. Which is, no, Belgium is its own company, but uh, own country, but it's... But it's not in Germany? No. Belgium? Uh-huh. Belgium is a country. You can Google it. It's worth a Google. Belgium, officially a kingdom of Belgium, is a country in Western Europe. It is bordered by the Netherlands to the north and Germany to the east. Boom! Yeah. So, I wasn't completely off. I know my geography. So it's the next best thing is Belgian beer. Anyway, um, we're going to light these up. We're going to cut these, spark them up. We're going to open these, pour it out. Mm, I'm going to talk it out, baby. And burn it down. Let's go. So, uh, the Brickhouse Robusto or the Brickhouse Maduro is a tribute to the original Brickhouse Cuban Puros handmade with the finest Havana tobaccos. Third generation cigar makers Eric and Bobby Newman have faithfully recreated the vintage cigar by blend- blending specially aged Nicaraguan tobacco. Creates a smoke that is lush, dense, and brimming with notes of coffee, cedar, and spice. Further complemented by a toasty, delicacy, sweet finish. Um, to match the rich, well-balanced flavor of the grandfather's Brickhouse cigars. Just like J.C. Newman's friends and family who have done 150 years ago with the original Brickhouse cigars. Pretty old. Pretty old. 150 years, is that what you just said? Yep. Damn, boy. Yeah. J.C. Newman, oldest cigar company. I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere. Founded in 1895 by Julius Caesar Newman. That's why they make the Julius Caesar. That's why I got it from. Oh, how do they call it? J.C. Newman? Yeah, baby. Founded in 1895 by Julius Caesar Newman, J.C. Newman Cigar Company <laughs> is the oldest family-owned premium cigar-making family in America. It's premium cigar maker in America. For four generations and 125 years, J.C. Newman has been handcrafting many of the world's finest cigars. Let's fucking go. So I know my, I know my shit. I know my Dude, shit. you know your shit. So that is a little bit about the Brickhouse Maduro. Yeah, so real quick again. With participating retailers and tobacconists all nationwide across the country, buy seven of any of the Brickhouse cigars, and you get a free 2020 Bricktoberfest Stein engraved. And that is not a paid promo. That is just fucking That is not. A, no one's paying us. No one's doing anything. It's just a cool fact about it these is. cigars. So, let's. Uh, all right. So, I do this. I hold. So, I, you do this. Okay. To open up your beer. Damn. Hold on. Let's just Bang. This is like a cool experience I'm going through right now. All right, cool. There you go. Open up your Stein. Stein. What do we say? Prost. 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 <sighs> Hoppy. That's not bad. I like it. Strong. Probably people in Germany think this is like water, right? Yeah. No, this, this, is, a, this is a good beer. I like it. Um, you know what I also like? Why do they have the top? Just keep it cold? Keep the bugs out? Keep the- yes, yes, and yes. Nice. Well, the cold the thing keeps, but this keeps keeps bugs out, um, and also like if you're moving around, you're not sloshing your beer everywhere. Wow. Um, is that your own custom? This is my own custom one. Has my name engraved on the top. That's pretty cool. Um, says Freistadt Bayern, which my German's rusty, but um, free state of Bavaria or Bayern, Bavaria, I think. Um, and then this one is the August Augustiner Brow, which is um, 
I actually got that from Oktoberfest. Cool. That is from Germany? That is from Germany. I was at the Oktoberfest and I got it. It's got a cool little engraving on top. Looks like Jesus on top of it. So, what I do love is the sound. Listen. Listen to this. Yeah. Bam. That's aggressive. <laughs> That's like a bang sound. That's aggressive. So. Hmm. So, so, how much did you like pay for one of these in Germany? If you know the uh, conversion I rate. I don't remember, to be quite honest. I don't. Was it expensive, do you know? Some of them can be very, very expensive. Huh. Like, some of them can be thousands. Whoa. Um, because they're handcrafted. They're huge. They have all sorts of things on them. But, um, so, anyway, a little bit about, I don't know if you know about the story of Oktoberfest. Like I said, man, all I know about October, uh not Oktoberfest. Oktoberfest is that it's a huge drinking festival. You have a damn good time. Ladies, gentlemen, kids, boys, girls, cousins. Yeah. yeah. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves it. Everybody loves love parfait. You know what else? Everybody like parfait. Everybody loves parfait. You know who don't like parfait. So let me um, grab your phone quick because I believe I have the story on there and I don't want to butcher the names. Um, yeah. But I believe that Oktoberfest started in 1810, I believe. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready for this class. Um, by the way, we have to have a quote of the day, which we didn't come up with, but we will have one. Oh, we got one. But we got one. It's going to be, and I'm going to have to look it up because I don't butcher it as well, but the quote of the day is going to be the toast of Oktoberfest. Let's go. It's let's going to be go, in baby. German. Hopefully, I don't butcher it, but it's a pretty good toast. Let's go. So before we get into it, this is... Story time with Justin and Eric. So, Oktoberfest originated um, in 1810, and it was a festival to celebrate the marriage of the prince and the princess. Oh. Um, it was Prince of Bavaria, who eventually became King Louis I, um, and he was married, marrying Princess Ther- Therese von Sachsen Hildburghausen. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't butcher it. That was hard. Um, but what's cool is at the festival, at the end of it, they had a horse race. And they named the horse race the Teresa the Teresa Vese, which means like Teresa's Green, apparently. But what's cool is that that name turned into the town where they have Oktoberfest now. So in Oktoberfest, there's a town. You get off the train. You go to the Teresa Vesen. That's the name of the stop. Teresa Vesen. That's the name of the stop. And you go there, um, that's where all of the, the festival is. And it originated as like an old school carnival kind of, where they had like little beer little beer yeah. stands and carnival games and food stands. And it just evolved over the years to now they have these massive tents that hold thousands of people. Dude, this is like... A little, it's serious. It's like really hard to sometimes... Like you can't, you can't just be like, all right, swig back some beer. You have to like really like, okay, let's open this up. Let's make sure I have enough strength to lift it up. No wonder why German people are so strong. Well, that's legit. That's actually a Moss... Uh, a Moss Stein, which is uh, one liter of beer. So that can hold one liter. Bro, I could do some like curls with this one. It's legit, too. I legit. Mean, this is ain't no ain't no beer glass. It's not legit. going Legit. So, so that's kind of the backstory. And then it, it evolved over the years. Um, but 1810, it originated. And what's fun fact is that it actually started in all of October, Oktoberfest. Mm-hmm. But because of inclement weather, because in Germany, in October, it can get pretty bad. They had to keep pushing it back. So now it starts in September, and the last week of Oktoberfest is like the first week of October. Huh. Um, huh. But that's your uh, trivia of Oktoberfest and how it started. I got some more trivia for, um, not really trivia, but a question. Is there an improper way of utilizing or drinking this or doing this? Is there like do's and don'ts of the Stein? I don't know. I don't think so. I just can't get, I can't get over how freaking heavy this is. I don't think is. so. Some people, you can hold it like this. Some people hold it like they stick their whole hand in here like that. Oh, oh, okay. Like that. So let me ask you this, actually. So have you ever been to like, because Oktoberfest is a big, just a big, one big fucking party. Yeah. It's essentially just one big party. They have thousands of people. They come from all over the world and they just drink beer and party. And it's, it's great. It's fantastic. Have you ever been to like an Oktoberfest party or like a, like a beer Olympics party or? Yeah, I've been to a beer Olympics party many times. I mean, I've been to like. In October, when like they do like bar crawls and stuff like that, or bars do like Oktoberfest type of stuff, but 
Um, because like I always think of Oktoberfest, like the first movie you think of is Beer Fest. I was just gonna say beer. I've been at Beer Fest, right? And they have all the games and stuff and all like the. I have it on DVD. I should rewatch it because it's a movie that I lo- like. I really like that movie because it's so funny. But I feel like it's super underrated. It is. And it is. It's not appreciated, and it needs to be. It needs to be. So what? What country were you when you went? Oh, I've like been. A- I've been all different kinds. Yeah. 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 I've been all Italy, America. I've never been Germany. Italy, America, Brazil, like, like you, you just like people, you just like make a hat, like put it in a hat and you just pick a name out. Did you ever win it? No. No, really? No. What games do you remember playing there? A uh, hundred cup. A hundred cup? One was a hundred cup. A like, beer, beer pong, but with a hundred cups. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's actually pretty fun. That's intense. Yeah. That's that was, that, How do you miss for like the first seven turns? You don't. You, don't. you literally well, actually, lob it up. Surprisingly... It's 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 pretty easy, but it's not as easy as easy all the time. I mean, I guess. I feel like I would just go for the front cup, and if it misses, yeah. it just rolls and eventually like, falls in. Like people like me and you, like we're pretty veter- we're probably like veterans when it comes to beer pong. But like people who don't play too much, it they miss and they, it bounces out. It's kind of ridiculous, but uh, I mean, beer pong, a hundred cup. Uh, you play flip cup. Um, uh, what other games have we played? Um, Do you ever play like a boat race? Mm. we've done a boat race where it's uh i feel like there's all different i feel like <laughs> names for drinking games are so like there's all different kinds of variations of names and it's like the same game but which game like quarters quarters koiga bounce Koi- <laughs> quarters is mad fun bounce. beard batter coogan i just remember from the from the video from the, <laughs> the movie beard batter coogan. do you know the game where it's the one it it's it, is it landmines it's you have cups all over, and you have the pong ball, mm-hmm. and you ha- you can knock people out left and right. It's super competitive. I forgot yeah, or the like rule. chandeliers. Chandeliers. Oh yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. But but I loved. I'm pretty sure it was called landmines. I forgot the rules, but there's cups all over, and you have your cup, and you have one. Sh- you get you get the ball, and you have one shot to bounce it and get in your cup. And if you do, you pass it to the next person. Then if that person misses. They have to. It's something with we'll person to the left or the right of them. If you skip over somebody, they have to. You slap their cup and they. Have it's kind of like a knockout in basketball. Yeah, you get skipped over, right? You have yeah. to drink, and then if you get on your first try, you can go yes, backwards. Yes, right? yes. So if there's someone next to you, they get it in. They pass you. They pass you the cup, and then if uh, I believe, then if you get it in, you go over me, and I'm still trying to get it in. Yeah. The person next to me is I, is like is is next up is next up, and then. Either you or them knock me out. Yeah, you have to. It's going to the left knocks him out. The person who's stuck gets knocked out. Yeah, but if like if the person, let's say, if you get it on your first try, you can give it to whoever you want. So like they can give it back to me, and then if I get it again, I knock you out again. Yeah, and that's what we call run and train on somebody. You just go back and forth, back and run forth. And trade. Yeah, yeah. That, that game gets super. And then good. you have to reach in and grab another cup from the center. And then usually the last cup in the middle is like stacked. Just dude, you know what I just thought of too? You know, drinking games are probably going to be evaporated basically as a fucking bullshit mm-hmm. COVID nineteen. Mm-hmm. No one's gonna except share. for beer pong. Except for beer pong, uh, because beer pong, I play. I always play beer pong with water. Well, yeah, most people do. But you know, not everyone does that. Yeah. Um. I mean, the only game I can think of. Um. What's it called? It's called. Uh. Is it called War? War is beer pong, but yeah, you have four. You have three people. Yep. yep. Civil, civil, civil war. war. Civil war. Yeah. So it's three people against three people, and each person has their own diamond of four cups. And those are your cups, and you just play against a person across from you. But there's no, like, waiting for turns. You just fucking shoot, yeah, right? Yeah, it's just rapid fire. Just rapid fire. But and you can go for anybody, though. You can go for anybody. or Because we uh, always played you can, like, shoot for anybody else's. Yeah, I think you can either, you can, uh, yeah, you can go for anybody. Yeah, you know why? Because it's like if you had a sucky person, you would get all the good people out first and you'd leave that person for last. Yeah, yeah. So and it's a free for all though. And like you can just grab the ball and just fucking shoot. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 That one is super. I, I like that one too. I love that it's one. rapid fire. But yeah, those are some good drinking games. But yeah, because of COVID 19 now, who knows what. Who drink. knows? So let me, um, let me grab your phone really quick again mm-hmm. um, because we are going to do the quote of the day. Yeah, this should be interesting. I don't know what this one is. Usually we have a quote of the day already picked out. Justin was the one who thought of it, obviously, because he said, hey, man, there's a good there's a good quote we can use for this episode. So I'm going to say it live on the podcast. So I said, never heard of it. Let's just get it done. So that hat is authentic from Germany, too. Yes, it is. 
Can I rock it for a second? Can I get the feel? Can I get the real feels? You can get the real feels, son. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh, daddy. Damn, I'll give it a little I'll give it a little gangsta lean. Hold on. Oh, yo. I'm kind of good looking in this hat. I can get used to this. I feel like a little mobster in a way. I'm gonna try and talk by myself. By myself. One pillow. One bed. It's kind of weird doing a podcast by yourself. <laughs> so I have it and the word, the German word, it has a very rough translation. There is no exact English word for it. Okay. It's a German toast that they sing for Oktoberfest. But I'm gonna have to eat my hat back to get this toast right. So, oh well, well, please do. So I mean it wouldn't be right if it you didn't wouldn't have be it. right if I had this hat if I didn't uh Okay. So, so you're gonna sing for us? So it's a toast and hopefully um I don't butcher it. But this is how it goes. Here is the quote of the day. Ein Prosit, Ein Prosit, der Gemütlichkeit. Ein Prosit, Ein Prosit, der Gemütlichkeit. And then they go, Tiki Taki, Tiki Taki, oi, oi, oi. Tiki Taki, Tiki Taki, oi, oi, oi. Tiki Taki, Tiki Taki, oi, oi, oi. Prost. Prost. That's what they do. And my German is rusty, so I might not have said it 100% right, but that is the quote of the day for you guys. That was pretty intense. I can only imagine there was with like 100 guys. It is nuts. So, um, again, my German is very rusty. Uh, you have to unlock your phone here. But it is ein Prosit, ein Prosit, der Gemütlichkeit. Right, can you, can you uh, like do like a step-by-step step and I'll try and say it? Okay. Ein Prosit. Ein Prosit. Ein Prosit. Ein Prosit. Der. Der. Gemüt. Gemüt. Lich. Lich. Kite. Kite. So it's Ein Prosit. Ein Prosit. Ein Prosit. Der, der Gemüt. Kite. Kite. Lich. Kite. So Not right. That's like Gemüt. Dirty. Lich. Kite. It's very, it's hard to, so Gemüt. Lich. Kite. There's really no like English word, but the rough translation is like coziness and good cheers. So it's basically a German toast that they say during um, German events and Oktoberfest, that means a toast, a toast to good cheers, uh, a, a good cheer and coziness. Good people. Good people, essentially. Cool. Like good good times, good. Um, but yes, it's ein Prosit, ein Prosit der Gemütlichkeit. Der ein Prosit, Gemütlichkeit. ein Prosit der Gemütlichkeit. And then, tiki ducky tiki ducky And that, oh, that oh, doesn't oh. have anything. That's just something that they say because it sounds cool. That's just gibberish. That's just gibberish. But that is your toast, your quote of the day. Slash toast um, of the day. It is the German um, drinking song, essentially. That's pretty damn cool. Gemütlichkeit. I would love to go to Oktoberfest and actually in, uh, you know, enjoy the authentic experience. That's got to be like a bucket list. I've been there and it's fucking insane. It's <laughs> It's... Dude, I was there, and so they sing that, right? And you'll have somebody, like, usually the band, and these beer tents have thousands of people, like six, 7,000 people all in a beer tent. Like, the tent is huge. And you'll have the singer. He holds up his, his stein like this, and he says, Ein Pro, and then everybody in the building starts singing it, and it's like you're at a soccer game, like a chant. And then when he says, then all of a sudden at the end, he says, tiki taki, tiki taki. And then the whole place goes, oh, oh, oh. And it's like rumbling. And you're like, holy fucking shit. This is awesome. Yeah. It's very, very cool. Anyway, I wanted to tell you a funny story about um, the Das Boot. Das Boot. So there's a, a tradition. Well, it's actually not really a tradition, but people think it's a, tra- a tradition. In Oktoberfest, that you drink out of a shoe. So everybody knows Das Boot, okay? Everybody knows this thing. That's the that's the small one. The big one. Let me go get the big one. Go get your big boot, boy. So this is the big boot. This is the real Das Boot. That's from okay. Germany, too? Um, I don't know if this one's actually from Germany. I don't think so. But this is the boot. So the thing that people tend to do at Oktoberfest is they take their shoe off, they fill it with beer, oh, and they drink out of their motherfucking shoe. With their stank-ass Fumunda cheese? Their stank-ass, sweaty-ass Fumunda cheese. Ugh. They pour it, and they drink out of their shoe. So I see these, we're at Oktoberfest, and I see these fucking people. I'm like, 
what the fuck are they doing? Don't fuck it. I'm like, they, 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 I'm serious. Take out their shoe. They fill up a beer and then they, they drink out the heel. They just drink the freaking. I so mean, I mean, I've seen drunk ass people in America on Long Island do it out of their tennis shoe. Bro, people like, are blasted. nuts. So I'm like, I, I, I'm actually we're hanging with like real Germans at our, our little table. Um, so I'd ask them like, a point I go, what is that? Like, what are they doing? I go, is that like a tradition that they do here? And he says, nah, that's just a bunch of idiots. They think that Germans do that, so they do that. I'm like, really? He goes, yeah, we don't do that. That's like the that's like the tourist thing that people do. What's the thing in the... That's like another, <laughs> another touristy thing in Germany. Um, isn't there like a giant wall up like in Germany and like something happened in... The you, Berlin Wall? Not the Berlin <laughs> No. Not that thing. You like lay down and go underneath, and you're like high up, and you lick it or something like that. Oh, that's the Blarney Stone, and, and like the lo- and like a touristy thing, and then Germans it's- say like that people piss like Germans piss on it all the time. No, that's the uh, isn't that the Blarney Stone in like Ireland or something? Oh, it is maybe yeah, isn't yeah. it Ireland that you have to oh, go up and kiss the Blarney Stone? It, yeah, you're right. It isn't Germany. It is Ireland. But I think they do something like that. They piss on it. Isn't that what they like? Well, we get the- drunk and we piss on that stupid thing. I think that's what they say to like make a joke is like just a tour- it's a touristy thing. But you're right. It is Ireland. It is not Germany. So good catch on that. Again. But it was pretty funny because I asked, I go, why? Like, What's what is that? that? He goes, that's funny. I'm like, is that a tradition? He goes, no, absolutely not. He goes, that's just something the fucking crazy tourists do. We don't really Oh, do was that. it German people? It was like tourists? No, it was like tourists. Like the Italian people that come over um, or like the, the, I don't know, people from wherever, Italy, the French people, the Greek people, whatever, they all come over. He says, everybody fucking does that. They think that we, they think it's a thing that we do and it's not. And I go, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Dude, you getting a little mine's a little getting a little tight draw on here. Is it a little tight? Let me see. A little tight like a toyga. I'm not really getting too much. I've been trying to purge it. Trying to do all that good stuff. We're not really working for it. Mm. I don't know, mine's pretty good so far. Oh, we got this Jägermeister back here. Oh. Alright. Let me ask you that. Do you have any crazy story about Jägermeister? You have you ever drank Jägermeister? Yeah, I used to drink Jäger and Red Bull. Jäger bombs! <laughs> Jäger bombs! Jäger bombs! Jäger bombs! Jäger right, bombs! Give me your craziest story about Jäger bombs. Oh, dude! I like, mean, give the craziest ones I don't remember. Like- I can't remember the craziest one, but there have been a uh, a lot of my house of state. There have been a lot of Jägermeister drinking, a lot of Jäger bombs. Um, fucking Jäger bombs! I mean, I I think the stories with that would be a little too explicit for the podcast. Can't really, dude. I don't know if there's anything too explosive for no, this podcast. No, just, but um, but yeah, I've had some good times with Jägermeister. I mean, Jäger bombs are great. I don't really think I don't really like to drink Red Bull, but when I do, it's definitely a Jäger bomb. I Who don't always drink Red Bull, but when I do, it's, it's a Jäger bomb. Jäger bombs. You know, I never, really, I never realized. Well, I I have now, but growing up, I never realized it was a German. Yeah, it's a German alcohol. German uh, liqueur, I guess. It's so, a licorice yeah. liqueur, I think. Yeah, it's definitely. And I don't really like licorice, but yeah. it, it, it tastes good with Red Bull. Dude, I have a story. I drank. I was drinking Jägermeister by the glass. Oh, oh my God. Listen to this why, crazy why, thing. So, why, why? So my stepdad and my uncle Denny, who you know, they came up when I was in college. They came up to watch me play basketball. One night we went out because we're like, we always fucking go out. I went to this bar and we started drinking like we were drinking fucking everything under the sun. It was yeah, your your dad, your stepdad, and your uncle are great guys to drink with. Oh, they're fucking party animals. They are. They are. They veteran. act. They're, they're like in their sixties. I think my uncle Denny's like one hundred and ninety-seven years old. Yeah, we always bust his chops about his age. But they drink like they're fucking twenty. Yo, he is a riot. He's got stories for days. He is. He is still like a eighteen-year-old at heart. Oh my god, and he's crazy. Like, and that's a true fact. Like, you think of old men who act young. Or that's wh- Denny. That's him. I mean, he is hysterical. And your stepfather, oh, God. I mean, those are guys I want to just go travel with and just have a good man trip with. We are, oh, we always that's have great. it. Oh, we, so they would come up, and we would, we'd would go out, just the three of us, just the fuck three of us. We'd go out, and yeah, they, it, was in the win- it was in the winter. They came up to watch me play basketball, and I had like a midterm the next day. I'm like, fuck it. We're going out anyway. So we go to the bar. We're drinking now, we know the bartender, and the bartender always just, like, brings Rand. He's like, yo, I found this new fucking shot. It's called a, a fucking chocolate-covered pretzel. Try it out. Like, bring it on. Oh, I found this other shot. It's called the Skittle Bomb. Try it out. 
So he just whatever it was, he would he was just like walking over with a tray of three shots. Are you sure it wasn't weed or was it drink? It was no, like, it was fucking like everything. Like you know, because we the people who sell weed, they're like, "Yo, I got the fucking AK forty seven, fucking Alabama Kush Master three point two. I got the Pineapple Express two point oh. I got the the stuff from Afghanistan, the stuff that dries in the weeds. You know, I got this, I got that. That's what it sounds. That's what it reminded me of when you said, "Oh, I got this, dude." So, and this guy was great. So he, so we were drinking Jaeger by the glass, like the little, the little rocks glass. Yeah. Like we were drinking it, like just sipping it or chugging it. Not like, like we were ordering. Let me get three Jaegers. Ooh. Like Jaegers on the rocks. It was oh, that's know, real German, dude. Fan. I don't know why the fuck we're doing it. Is, we, is Jaegermeister like a German thing? Like, do people in Germany drink Jaegermeister? It's a German. No, American it's thing? no, it's a it's a German thing. Okay. Um, I think it says. Let me see. I think it says imported from Germany. Yeah, it's crafted by, uh, Mas Jaegermeister. Say, Ger- yeah, it's from Germany. What is Jaeger? You know what Jaegermeister means? No, it doesn't mean. I don't think it means anything. Should we ask Siri? Um, ask her. Hey Siri. What does Jägermeister mean? Here's what I found from Wikipedia.org. The name Jägermeister in German literally means Master Hunter. Oh, Master, Master Hunter. Hunter. It does mean that. It is a title for a high-ranking official in charge of matters related to hunting and gamma keeping. The game keeping, game keeping. Oh, that's why there's a that's hunter. why there's a buck on there. So it's hunter. So it does mean something. Yeah. Okay. Well, right. which, which makes sense because I, I do. Corrected. I do have a hunter in my family. My uncle who hunts at my house upstate, and we always had Jägermeister. At our house, and I never understood why, because no one really drinks Jägermeister. But I guess that's a hunting. I guess it's a hunting. I guess thing. a hunting thing. So, so there you go. It, so it means the master, the master, master, hun- master hunter. Wow, that's a good fun fact. Jäger is hunter, I think, and Jäger and Meister is master. So uh, the, the master hunter, I love it. Very cool. That is cool. So fun fact, right there, Jägermeister. Thanks, Siri. Um, so we're drinking so much Jäger, right? And we're like, ch- we're chasing it with beer. We got the Jäger and the beer. The Jäger and the beer. <laughs> we were drinking so much Jaeger. We're playing pool. We started farting up. St- Bro, I'm not kidding you. And this uh, people are gonna be like, what, what the what, f-? what kind of farts though? <laughs> no, because like, dude, it was like, like, like no, like no, like so bad that we had to stop playing pool and like go play darts because we couldn't stand around a pool table anymore it, it was like oh. hot like hot fire like oh. those like hot oh gas my god like the hot gas just, just think three guys just drinking beer jaeger that we just went out to dinner oh my god we're like we gotta stop playing i can't play pool anymore like you, you go to take a shot all of a sudden like we're like ah. Oh. Oh, Danny. Oh, my God. Light a match. Uh. Something. <laughs> oh. And then Bill would chime in. And then here I'm like. And we're like, oh, God. Oh. Let's Damn. go play darts. Let's get out of here. We can't play this anymore. I'm sure you guys were the only ones left in that bar. Oh, we're the only ones in the fucking bar. So then, we're playing, so then we <laughs> so then we proceed to go home. And I'm we're fucking hammered. Hammered. And I have a, I have a midterm the next day at like 8 o'clock in the morning. Hashtag college lifestyle. 8 o'clock in the morning. So I, I get to my house. I get to my house like three o'clock in the morning. I go to sleep. Thanks, Dad. You're a good role Dude, model. I go to sleep. I wake up. I roll over. I look at my clock. Nine fifteen. Eight o'clock final. Eight or midterm. Eight o'clock. It started, and it's nine fifteen. And I just go back. I go, fuck. So I'm like, I, I think I'm still drunk. Wash up. Get in the car. I run. Go to the. Go to my midterm. I like don't even want to go to the teacher. I just. just grab it like try to like try to not get close and she's like what happened I go, just <laughs> so I'm, like, try, I'm just the whole <laughs> what happened <laughs> <laughs> what happened <laughs> that, that's what happened, that's you, want, what happened. <laughs> you want me to get out of here you're gonna let me take this test or i'm gonna keep doing this <laughs> so, so i'm like doing the doing the midterm i can't i'm the i fucking do whatever on the multiple what kind of midterm what class um global economics oh god it was for like it was for my minor it was just bullshit oh. And uh, so I just circle anything on the fucking questions, and I'm still so drunk that I can't even like read the question. Like there's an essay question, it's like a couple sentences, and I'm like reading the same line over and over and over again because I'm just like so my eyes like won't focus. So anyway, I finish the test, I come back, and I get into the house, and here it is, my my stepdad, my uncle is sitting there like this, cooking bacon and eggs, and the two of them look at me, they go. So how was your test? I'm like, fuck you guys. Fuck <laughs> you. And they just start busting out laughing. That's I'm like, awesome, fuck man. you guys. That's awesome. But That's we cool. were drinking Jaeger on the rocks. Farting up a storm. 
Oh man. Oh god. Ugh. People might think less of me now, but I don't give a shit. Hey man, that that that's you. That's the story, man. You don't like it? Kick rocks, get the hell out. Yeah. Get the hell out. That's my man Justin who farts out Jaeger. That's a pretty good story. <laughs> my man Justin who farts out Jaeger. Thanks. That, that's who you are. Put it lightly. <laughs> that's who you are. You fart out Jaeger. Who else you know drinks Jaeger out of the glass? Only my man Justin. Ugh. But anyway. That's a good story. I don't really have uh I don't really have a I have a tequila story that reminds me. I mean, not that doesn't remind me of that, but for some reason, this story clicks Tell in my it. head. But Tell us, drinking. It is drinking. So, when I lived in Connecticut, there was this tequila bar called Geronimo's in New Haven, Connecticut. Great spot. Great spot for Mexican food. Great tequila. Oh, my God. That was so creamy and sexy. Oh, my God. You know, X Games mode. I turn you on. You might have to switch, switch up seats a little bit. <laughs> switch the jeans. <laughs> switch the jeans a little bit. You got but, a, little, um, <laughs> a little half chop going on there. But, uh, so, I never really drank tequila, and then some guys from work, we would go to this place, Geronimo's, and drink this tequila called Pakai. Pakai. I think I think you told me this story once before, but not on the podcast, so I want to hear it again. Okay, okay. Because I just remember Pakai, like, as a... Oh, well, I've had it. I brought it with my I bought it with my father when he came up and stuff like that, but I always talked about it. I always looking for other bars. Everywhere else, can't find it. So, this is a place I only have Pakai, and you drank this tequila, and it was like water. It was like... Whoosh, so smooth, so easy, and it was like delicious. And I was like, "Damn, this Damn. tequila, this tequila tastes like water." Like, I guess it's, Damn. it's smooth as hell. Smooth. So my buddies come up, and I'm like, "Yo, we're it's called Pakai. Pakai. P A Q U A I. I think Pakai. Okay, it so has like- an Indian head on it. Some kind of Indian um, reference, I think. But my buddies come up, talking up all the bars. I'm like, "Yo, first stop." We're going to Geronimo's. We're getting a couple of tequila shots, kick off the night right. And they're like, yeah, let's go. Let's yeah, go. Fucking do so it. I'm like, yeah, we're trying this Pakai. I'm like, this is the shit. This is the shit right here. Like this. And they're like, tequila? Oh. I'm like, nah. You're like, shut the fuck up. Just I'm like, it. just do it. I'm like, we're going to have a good night. So the whole night, like the whole night, pregame at the house, everything talking about this tequila bar and this tequila. So we get there and um, I'm, like, I'm like, all right, four shots of Pakai. Four shots of Pakai tequila. So we get, we get the shots. I've got, we get the shots, right? As soon as we grab the shot glasses, piss warm, fresh out of the dishwasher. Oh. Everyone's like, dude, what? And I don't know why. I didn't say like, yo, let's get new ones. We're like, fuck it. Let's just drink it. We're men. Fuck it. Dumbest idea oh. ever. Piss hot. Piss warm tequila. Hot tequila. Oh. No, thank you. Whatever. We whooshed it back. It ain't sake, man. And everyone's like, oh, everyone has the worst experience. I'm why like, would they give you... Hot glasses. What is wrong with you? I don't know. Ugh. I'm not trying to throw dirt on the name because it's a great establishment. It maybe it was just a mess up. But it was my fault because I should have said, hey, these glasses are hot. These Piping. glasses are hot. So it was my fault. I take the blame on that. But anyways, we take the shots. Everyone's like, oh, God. All right. Let's, 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 I just like ruined. <laughs> it didn't get off to a good start. So we're like, oh, God. Everyone's like hurting. So as soon as we get out of the bar, we walk down the steps. My one buddy was not feeling it. There was a little alleyway right outside the restaurant. He's like, dude, can't do it. Went nip, to the nip, bar. Nip. Eject. <laughs> I yacked all over the all over the alleyway. Oh, my God. Everyone's, and then that kind of like bumped everybody over like, all right, let's go. <laughs> my other buddy was like, I feel great. <laughs> And I was like, wow. I was like, all right. And we had a great night. But that, like, that was like the first. <laughs> no, nope, can't do it. No. Nope. He's like, I got to go. It's got to eject. And he, it was just on command. Like, blah. Oh, my God. And I was like, and that was the only, only and last time that I will ever drink a hot, a hot shot and a hot tequila. Because, boy, oh, boy, nothing really tastes good that's hot besides coffee. So, I remember I told the story about like when we were in. um try to, pur- try to purge it again. In the in Oktoberfest absolutely wrecked because they give you when you go to oktoberfest and you go to the beer tents whatever beer tent you're in that's the beer you're drinking so if you go to the hofbrau tent you're drinking hofbrau and it's not like a bar where like, oh give me a vodka soda give me yeah. no, no 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 they say do you want dunkel or lager small or big dark or light okay if no there's no small or big you're a dude you're getting a fucking liter you're getting this. You're getting a liter of beer. I got. I, I got. I got. They a, actually yeah. in in this thing. They gave you this. This is what they gave you. Yeah, they got it. So if you're you want darker light, and you say uh light lager, okay, they bring you this. And that's why you have these beer girls that bring you all these fucking beers, bang right on the table. So you're drinking. Not only are you drinking a lot of beer. Like I must have had four of them. Yeah, I think four I just, liters of beer. It's a gallon of fucking beer. That's 
a lot of beer for your liver. So here's a fun fact: <clears throat> Oktoberfest. They estimate that October that patrons of Oktoberfest consume upwards. I think it's two million gallons of beer. Two, two million. Two with an M. Two million. Two million gallons of beer. That's a lot of mother effing beer. That's a lot of fucking beer. Damn, that is a lot of beer. So anyway, that's some like that's like it's a lot of dude. They it's nuts. That's it's, gotta be some. That's like more than some small countries with gasoline, dude. It's an it's an absurd amount of beer. God. Um. So <laughs> I remember so getting absolutely hammered, absolutely hammered, right? Blasted. You're standing on tables, fucking like people go absolutely bumping, baby. crazy. So I remember like getting out of there, and now you're hammered, and you're in a big carnival. Like an old school carnival. And I'm talking old school. Like when you you ever see like the shooting games? Yeah, where it's like you gotta shoot the little What's considered old school? So you OS got, for life. OS for life. The shoot like the little shooting games? Yeah. You're it's an actual BB gun. Oh nice. Like it ain't no little bull like not water not a water gun. No, you get an actual BB gun and there's actually little ceramic plates that you have to shoot. That's awesome. So like you could turn around and just shoot somebody. Yeah. No problem. You'll you would die because like the cops would beat the shit out of you mm. um but it's a it's a legit bb gun you have to <laughs> cock it boom, boom. And so they have all these old school games but i remember being absolutely hammered and just like i told you the story about taking my cigar onto rides with me going up and like just hiding it because i lit my cigar and i'm like fuck i can't i'm not gonna put it down every single time yeah, just yeah, sneaking yeah. it onto rides going onto roller coasters like hammered taking pictures like ah, just wrecked absolutely wrecked meeting everybody there everybody that we were hanging out with um, absolutely, it was such a fun time, and they actually have two different sections. They have the Oy de Vezin, which is it's it's like the old old uh, town basically, and that's where like the original. I got a drink of two hands. Like the original festival was, and now it's turned into the big massive one. So now it's a festival in a festival. You go into the Oktoberfest, the Today's in Vezin, it's this huge ass festival. The Vezin, and you Vezin. go through the festival that. into the back. They have the Oy de Vezin, which is. The little smaller festival. Taveda Vazen and Oida Vazen? Today's today like Teresa? Teresa. Teresa Vazen. Yeah. And then Toroya Vazen? The Oida Vazen. Oida Vazen. What does that mean? What those like it's like old the old oh. old uh, thing. But anyway, super fun time. So if anybody's listening or watching and hasn't gone, go to Oktoberfest. It's fucking awesome. Well, when it when it happens again. But it'll happen in twenty twenty one. But um, But smoking a cigar, I think I I think I swallowed a piece of tobacco. Good. Keeps it regular. Right. Good for the good for mm-hmm. the heart. But what was I going to say about the, I mean, it's not the same, but the light or dark beer when like, you go mm. there. Remind me of this place called. Um, yeah, Dunkel or Lager. Dunkel is the dark beer. Yeah. Now, do you get judged on which one you drink? No. You okay. get judged if you ask for like a little baby tea set cup. Okay. So. Um, they look at you like, what the fuck are you drinking? A little baby tea set yeah, cup. Yeah, I get that. Fucking big ass beer. You a yeah, man. No, big ass beer. It's great. It's great marketing. Great marketing. Uh, so I've been to this place called Twin Peaks. You ever hear of it? Yes. It's, it's like a Hooters. Yes. So I went when I lived in uh, Georgia, when I lived in Atlanta, there was a Twin Peaks, and it's very Hooters esque. They got the girls working, and they're big on chicken wings. And speaking no, of which, I mean, to cut you off, but whatever happened to fucking Hooters? Their wings used to be so damn good. They're good now, but their wings used to be bomb. They used to be banging, banging, son, banging. Yeah. Like, like when you wanted wings, you would go to fucking. Like Hooters. I used to when I used to have an internship here on Long Island in Melville. Uh, Melville's like home, like one of the business. They have hub, the Hooters right there. One of the business hubs over like, over there. And every uh, Friday for happy hour, we would go and we get the wings. And that was like back in 2013 ish, 2014. So, so seven, five, yeah. yes, six seven years ago. And the wings were banging. They were like to die for. They were wow. They were wow. So anyway, there Twin was Peaks. A, Twin Peaks. So when you go there, you you order a beer, and they say, "Do you want man, uh, man size or girl size?" What man is gonna say? What uh, kind of question is that? What what guy is gonna say? I'll take the uh, girl. Can size? we get the baby girl size? Yeah, it was like man or girl or woman or female. It was it was female and male. Like it was that was the the, the deciding factor. Well, let me pull my skirt uh, down. Yeah, and, get the, uh... and I'm like, God damn! I'm like, this is a perfect marketing scheme. How can you? How can a guy say? I'll take the girly beer or the the girl beer or the female beer. Like no guy is ever gonna say that. Nope. And I'm like, damn, that is so perfect. I'm like, they got me. So you get the beer and it's like, yay big. And I was just like, damn. So that's what it, that's what remind me of. When I thought you were saying dark or light. I thought it was like small beer or big beer. It's but funny. So like they don't even give you the option in Germany. 
They don't care who you are. You're getting a big-ass fucking beer. <laughs> That's what you get. You get what I give you. You don't like it? Got fucking leave. Out. I got a thousand people outside waiting to come out. in. But, um, so, dude, solid. I, I like the beer. Good beer. Cigar. I'm not quite finished with that, so I can't give it a rating. That's a new thing we're doing. We're giving ratings at the end of the episodes. New thing. So, um, and then by the end of the quote of the day, you're going to do a one full swing of it, and I'm going to come in and go, tiki taki, tiki taki, oi, oi, oi. Ziggy zaggy. Ziggy zaggy. It's like, tiki, it's like, like TS, like tiki taki, tiki taki. Tiki taki, tiki taki, oi, oi, yeah, oi. Tiki taki, tiki taki. Oi, oi, oi. oi. Tiki taki, tiki taki, oi, oi, oi. I like it. And then pros. And, and pro. that'll be the fucking end of the episode. Perfect. Well, how far are we into so, the episode? So here's what we're going to do. We're going to um, give a rating on the cigar. We're going to tell everybody where they can find us and all this shit. And then we're going to send it off with the, the toast. Let's do it. All right. So I am not quite done. I'm. It's been smoking very slow. So at this point, I would probably give it Brickhouse Maduro. Um, now it's starting to loosen up now. So it's. The rating's gonna be a little altered because now it's now it's going. Halfway through a cigar, it's definitely opened up. The first half was a little tight. Kept going mm. out on me. Look, hey, look at that. That's nice. I, I would it- say this is probably a good picture cigar for sure. Got a lot of smoke output on the foot. So after I people that are listening, after you take a couple puffs on the cigar and you put the cigar down, the smoke coming off the foot of the cigar is intense. Mm. It's intense. It's like it's really rich. Rich. So that definitely plays in a factor to the rating. Yeah. Um, I like the flavors. It's a little... I mean, being a Nicaraguan pure, it's definitely peppery, for sure. Definitely peppery. It sits on your tongue a long, a long time. It's not It's not a pepper bomb, though. Not a pepper bomb, but yeah. it definitely you could definitely taste a little pepper. You could definitely taste it's a Maduro. It definitely tastes it's got the, the kick. But it, it, believe it or not, it's more of a medium full cigar. So it's not a full cigar. So that's why you're not getting that overpowering feel. Yeah, I get a lot of like just dry wood. It's oily for sure, but what's strange is that it leaves my mouth kind of dry a little bit. Oily on the lips, but like because of the richness and the flavors and the dry wood. Yeah, that's why I keep drinking in my mouth. Yeah. Which is not always a bad thing. No, it's not. It's just how the cigar is. But um, at this moment in time, what are you thinking? I'm thinking uh, first thing that comes to your mind, gun in your head. What do you got? It's high uh, high sixes, uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's where I'm going. I'm probably gonna say I'm saying six point eight. I was saying six seven. Alright. So all right. So we're about six seven six seven, yeah. six eight. Now the the one reason why uh that is the rating where it is is that uh the first half it was kind of slow. It was kind of the draw was kind of tight. I had to retouch it, or not retouch it, but I relight it a couple times, and um, it was a little difficult. Now I'm halfway through. If I finish the whole cigar, the rating might be a little bit different, but I'm only halfway through, so now it's starting to open up. Yeah, mine was the same way. It's a little it was right, right there where I was saying it was a little tight, right where you were saying. Yeah. Now you're halfway through. I'm not quite halfway through yet, but well, I'm halfway through because I kept freaking puffing on it, trying to trying to open it up, and now I finally got it to open up. I I purged it a bunch of times, didn't work. Other cigars it has, so purge doesn't always work. That when we always talk about it, it doesn't. It's a good thing to try because yeah. you don't want the, when you touch it up again. You're, um, it's like your first light. When you first light it, those first couple of puffs, you kind of have to throw those out because it was just lit, and you kind of have that char flavor. It's lit. When you relight it again, you get that same thing. So yeah, so I'm gonna say six point eight. You're gonna say six point seven. seven. Cool. So. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Oktoberfest here on The Burndown. Um, we are very appreciative of you guys that are watching over there, watching over there, and listening over here. Boop, 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 boop. Um, Eric, why don't you tell them where they can find us? Hey, man. As you guys already know, you can find us on Instagram and Facebook and even Twitter at The Burndown Podcast. You can follow our Instagram for the Burndown Academy. It's on our YouTube channel. It's on our Instagram at Burndown Academy. It's the educational and more informative cigar videos for people who uh, have questions and are just for, first starting out. You can find this German gentleman over there, the Dapper Cigar. You can find this guy over here, Eric, a.k.a. Brother Cigar. And uh, you can email us at burndown.mail.com. 
And those are all the avenues. Make sure when you watch this video, you hit the like, you subscribe to us, you hit the little bell. So when we come out with new Burn Down Academy videos, Burn Down Podcast videos, you get the notification. On all the uh, podcast platforms, Spotify, Apple, Google Play, iHeartRadio, and hopefully soon Amazon, because Amazon's getting in the podcast game. Amazon taking over the world. Yeah. Um, you know, give us five stars. Give us a review. Recently, people who have given us reviews, um, they've actually messaged us, and we just sent them uh, some um, stickers. Yeah. So if you, want, yeah. if you want a couple of stickers, shoot us a review on Apple, and uh, just let us know, hey, I left your review, and we'll, uh, we'll send you some cigars. So... We'll, uh, we'll have Justin send it off with the German quote of the day. Here we go. Let's do it. I'm pumped. Ein Prosit, ein Prosit, der Gemütlichkeit. Ein Prosit, ein Prosit, der Gemütlichkeit. Eric? Diggy Daggy, Diggy Daggy. Oi, oi, oi. Diggy Daggy, Diggy Daggy. Oi, oi, oi. Cool. Prost. Prost. <laughs>